welcome back to my channel. Today is a get ready with me video. I did my hair really quickly before obviously I got on camera. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to add it in here or if I'm just going to leave it because I have a, a turban tutorial here or a head wrap tutorial on YouTube already but it's actually kind of old now so I'll probably put it in here. If I don't put it here in this video, depending on how long it gets, I will be posting it on Instagram, so just probably like a quick one minute tutorial just for Instagram. So by the time I edit this, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, so yeah. Okay, so today's makeup look is going to be just something that I'm going to be throwing together to match my head wrap um, that is from Cece's Closet, and then just to make me feel like I'm doing something because I really haven't done my makeup in probably... Oh my gosh, probably close to two weeks because I got hella sick um, over my birthday, which sucked, and over a trip that I was on. So I have been really, really like not myself slash out of whack for the past couple weeks trying to get over the sickness and also just like trying to keep up with my workload. I started off this year and ending last year. I'm going to first use this Glossier Priming Moisturizer first on my face. Um, I started off this year super motivated, like super, super motivated to conquer the world and do all these things. And then I got hella sick. And I didn't expect to get sick because I probably really haven't been like sick, sick in about two years. Uh, because I'm pretty good about making sure that I've got um, got enough like vitamin C and stuff, especially this time of year when things are, you know, the flu's uh, around. And this year, I guess it's been like really bad for the flu. And so I, um, I caught something, and I'm not sure if I even caught the flu, uh, but it felt like the flu, even though I haven't had the flu before. But it was, it had me like in the bed and like out, like I'm not doing nothing. So I don't know if it was the flu. It only lasted about a week though, which I feel like some people are like, oh, like the flu is usually longer than that. Or, oh, it could have still been the flu. I don't know. I don't know what I had, but I was sick as hell. <laughs> so I'm trying to kind of like get back in the groove of things, which is really hard, um, this time usually after I get sick or something I can bounce back uh, pretty quickly and like I'm not really like you know but this time I feel like it really shook me up like on a physical level but also on like a mental level and all that momentum and and um, all that momentum and like energy that I had in the beginning of the year is like depleted and I'm just like what the hell like this was not supposed to be the way this is going already in the first month of, of the new year but it's okay you know I'm trying to find strength in just like getting back on top of things because my whole schedule got flown up flown you know out of proportion obviously so um so yeah it's just been like kind of rough trying to get back in the swing of things but I'm here. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is mixing my uh, LeBron's, or is this LeBron's or Le Peach? I'm using Le Peach. You guys know Auntie Jackie came out with these um, pigments with Artist Couture. If you guys haven't got them, I don't know if you can still get them, but this is Le Peach. And I've been actually mixing this with my primer oil from Smashbox lately. I'm just using like this top of a Tupperware to mix this. But basically, I just put a few drops the, basically the amount that I would usually put on my face and then I put some of the pigment in it and I just mix it together basically so um I've been using La Peach only because this one has a slight more rose gold look to it and it becomes a super pretty gold liquid that I use on my face underneath my makeup And it also warms my face up a lot since it's obviously been the winter and I have like zero tan left. Like all of my color is gone. So this gives me a little bit of glow that I like underneath. So first I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. And I'm just going to use a little bit because my skin's been really flourishing lately. 
And I'm pretty sure it's obviously because of the products and whatnot that I've been doing lately. But um, if you guys are wondering, I have a couple skincare videos that I recently posted. So if you guys want to see kind of like my skincare stuff, go watch those videos. Um, I've been trying a lot of new things and um, really been liking like the different brands and stuff that I've been using. Like I've been using a lot of simple skincare stuff, a lot of Glossier stuff. So that's the primer that I use. And then Glossier, Glossier, I can I can never remember what the actual pronunciation is. But I wanted to come and talk to you guys today in this Get Ready With Me about just something I've been feeling lately, which my sickness kind of like sprung this out of me too, which is like this feeling that I'm always very, I'm always very willing to help people. But really, I'm always really available to the people in my life. Like I'm always really available to help um, help with like, you know, like insights to like social media stuff and you know, trying to help people out with like figuring out what they want to do with their lives and like, you know, lending a lot of my emotional support to people. And I just realized lately that I feel like I haven't been getting that reciprocated from people around me and I was when I was sick I felt like I wasn't just like you know like physically sick I felt like well really get out of here get out of here I felt like like drained like just like spiritually drained and and part of that is obviously me you know like spreading myself too thin and stuff like that but I never really looked at it like that when it came to like the people that I care about in my life um, and even just like the people that I just in general like come in contact with because just my spirit like that's just who I am like if we talk and we're talking for like five minutes and then you tell me or you ask me for advice or whatever I'm giving you like my pure energy like I'm giving you like I'm not I'm not giving you like a fake like you know surface level answer like I'm genuinely listening to you and trying to understand your situation and trying to like help you with however I can you know what I'm saying so I'm like that with everybody in my life whether you've been in my life for two seconds or two years or ten years you know like that's just the kind of person I am but I'm realizing that I can't give that to everybody because you end up getting depleted like I felt like Dang, like, I feel like I'm giving myself to everyone and everything around me, but I'm not being filled back up. Like, the only person that I feel like really pours into me on a day-to-day -day basis is Mark. And that makes sense because we live together and we're around each other, you know? But, like, I felt like some of the people that, like, I talk to on a regular basis and, like, I'm just around a lot weren't giving anything back to me. And I... Oh, I've always had like a lot of friends and always had a lot of people around like just in general in life like I come from a big family and you know it's just natural for me to share what I have like even being a twin like just I just naturally share with people and I think that something that I'm learning recently is just like I have to protect myself like I have to protect myself from not because people are like out to get me they don't want to see me do well or anything but it's just like I, I think that when you allow people to lean on you and to use you for whatever they need in a way you know you can get taken advantage of and I I'm not you know I'm not sitting here saying like oh like nobody's out here for me like none of my friends are like you know there for me in a sense or or whatever but it's just that like I think I've lended myself a lot to what other people need over like things that I need and I gotta quit that like in 2018 like I have to be more choosy with with my energy and like who I give it to because I, I have to I'm always gonna have great people around me like I'm just that kind of person I attract really good people but just because somebody's good doesn't mean that you have to lend yourself to them and their beck and call anytime they need you you know what I'm saying like that's that's the thing because I think I I was doing that a lot and I just felt depleted because at the same time like helping people makes me feel good you know like helping people makes me feel like I'm you know 
being used by God. Like it makes me feel like I'm, you know, being a good person. But at the same time, you know, I have to worry about myself too. Like if I don't take care of myself, then I can't help nobody else, you know? And I felt like, I felt like, you know, I've been giving too much of myself to other people and trying to do too, like too much. And it's like, I end up getting really worn out and feeling like I don't have anything else for myself. And I just hate that feeling. I hate feeling like I'm not, I hate feeling like I've given so much of myself to everybody else that I have nothing else left to give to me. Y'all let me know down below if you've ever felt like that or if you think I'm tripping. <laughs> like, you know, but I don't think I am, you know, like I don't think I'm tripping because people, people will take advantage of you without even realizing it. And it's my responsibility to put parameters on how how close people get to me or how much I give to other people. Cause like, that's on me, you know, like nobody's forcing me to do anything, you know, but, but, um, but I'm allowing myself to get sucked up by like a lot of different things. So I'm trying to do better about balancing, like just balancing things out and trying to make sure that I have enough for myself and enough to be able to just like give you guys uh, my best self too because that's the other thing is like when I get depleted like that I don't want to film I don't want to work I don't want to do anything because I'm just tired you know I'm tired and like that that doesn't not that doesn't work out well for anybody it doesn't work out for me it doesn't work out for people that depend on me and it doesn't work out just in general like it's just not a good thing so I'm also in this phase right now, you guys, where I'm like completely allowing my brows to just grow out and they get kind of crazy from time to time, but I kind of like this like unruly kind of look. Like I haven't gotten my eyebrows actually done in probably a month and I've just been kind of like plucking them or cleaning them up myself and I'm kind of liking the journey of it, you know? Well, I'm gonna, oh, I need to do my contour. So let me do that actually right now. I need to go buy some more makeup. I really do. I, I feel like I've been using the same stuff for like the past like six months. What are some makeup brands or like makeup products you guys really want to see like reviews of or have been wanting to try? I know I always ask you guys about like hair products and stuff that you guys are wanting to try, but what kind of like makeup stuff are y'all trying to try? I've been in this mode of like really wanting to, well you guys already know, I usually do makeup looks that are like more skin-like, more like you know like chill, like I don't really do like the super super Instagrammy makeup, but I want to start like exploring like new techniques and like different looks like even like like for instance like Solange like, and Tracy Ellis Ross like they always have like really beautiful makeup looks that are really you know just like look effortless like that's the kind of makeup I like want to start doing more of so for my eyes oh wait let me set my face first before I do that so I'm gonna use the Patrick Star setting powder from MAC I actually haven't used this yet so we'll see I just recently started using the Laura Mercier powder again. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I started using the Becca Soft Blurring Setting Powder, which I love, and I started get going out of it. So I had used my sister's setting powder, Laura Mercier setting powder, when we were in New York, and I was like, oh my god, like I forgot this how good this setting powder was. Like it's so good. I don't think it's really a powder to bake. Like it's more so like matting me out, which is actually really nice. Like I feel like this is actually a powder that I can use like all over my face and not just like in the areas that I highlighted. I'm gonna use Patrick Stars, um, this palette. Which one is this one? This one is the Glam AF palette, eyeshadow palette. I'm 
gonna take some of this pure, this is like one of these like little minis. Um, it's a pure glitter, I don't know what these are called. I'm gonna have to look it up, but it's like a little eyeshadow glitter stick thing. I don't know what they're called, but it's like liquid glitter. And I'm just gonna put some of that on my lid. Ooh, that's pretty. Thank you. 